Got him. That was on the fall that time. to fish out here with Owl's Nest Outdoors. We're gonna get out here on the Water Lake St. Clair and try to get some smallies down by the mile roads. Let's go. back on. He was off and he's on. Yeah, I think I can pull foot in here. All right. Skunk is gone. All right, buddy. Calm down. There we go. Skunk is out of the boat. Good deal, man. Thank you. <laughs> Had another one. There we go. That's a good fight. Yeah, it's gonna wear him out a little bit here. I'm bringing him up. It's still not very big, but man, he put up a heck of a fight. Thank you. Might be the same one. <laughs> pretty torn up. Alright, another little smallie. Alright, let's let you go. Thank you. Got one. Yep. Little guy though. It looks so small. He's a fighter. Oh, and he's off. That's a good sized fish. Not bad. That's pretty decent. Not bad. I felt him hit it back there a minute ago and uh, cast back to him. What did I tell you about that backlash? <laughs> That'd be a nice one. Some good fish. Nice small. Right. On the backlash. Oh, he choked that too. Look at that. got another one. Oh yeah. Uh, yep, jumped right off. Oh no. <laughs> that was pretty cool though. That's pretty sweet. Got him that time. Yep. Ooh. That's not too bad. Oh, I was hoping he'd jump again. Oh, 
Come on, buddy. It's coming up your way. Ooh, beauty. Best one of the day so far. Thank you. Oh. Can you see the spots on this guy? That's awesome. Definitely a multi-species day. Alrighty, not a bad fish. Got some really cool markings on him. Neat, yeah. Pretty has got one back on the back uh, fin too. All right, let's let you go without falling in here. Thank you. All right, so that was on the Guggen Kraken Craw, and this color is the baby blue color. It's kind of a blue translucent color on one side and a green pumpkin on the other. Um, the reason why I went with this color is because the other day when I was fishing from the bank, I found a crayfish, crawfish, whatever you want to call them, and uh, it had these exact colors. It had like a little blue hue to it and that green pumpkin. Throwing it with a uh, loose bullet weight, this is a 3 16 ounce. And uh, this is again on the Daiwa CC80, the Daiwa Procaster 80 combo from Shop Carlson. Oh, got one. Same thing again, another ping. Oh, that's a bit better fish. Well, maybe not, he's not fighting now. Yeah, he's pretty good. Nice. Thank you, sir. Oh, beauty. Look at that spot on his fin. I got some really unique markings over here. All right, another largemouth for the day. Look at that black marking on his fin there. That is cool. Pretty fish. Let's get you back in. And there he goes. Again, selected this because I'm uh, matching the hatch. It's basically what I found out at Anchor Bay, sitting out at the uh, shoreline out there. Figured why not try it? And it's working. Boy, even rock bass, there we go. Yep. Speak of the devil. <laughs> no, I think it's a large mouth. Take it. Oh, wow. That messed up my drag. Did you hear that? mouth on the crack and craw. Wow, Check that out pretty good. Clear right here. Yep. There I was just complaining. Didn't think that I'd get the without the uh, craw enough action on it. Okay, so this is kind of yeah. cross between the two. Nope. Nice size one, too, actually. Yeah. Best smallie of the day so far. Yeah. All right, nuke punch. Not bad. He's long, he's skinny. All right, let's get you released. Thank you. All right, I switched to the Guggen nuke punch in green pumpkin color, and I did that because I wanted something that was a cross between the two profile, and I also wanted the action of the appendages like I was getting on the Guggen crack and craw. But with all these weeds and the clarity of the water, I wanted something just a little more bold, and that worked. He didn't grab it on the drop, but he definitely fouled that right up to the boat and hammered it. So let's see. Uh, See if I can get another one here. On the nuke punch. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right, yep, yep, yep. I'm getting the net. Wow, that's a 
beast. That is a nice fish, dude. Thank you, sir. Nice work, man. Good job. That's a good size, man. Very cool. Good job, man. Got him. That was on the fall that time. Yeah. I don't think he's too big. I don't think so. Yeah, true. He's pulling. Oh, nice catch! <laughs> Mid-air catch. All right, nice little smallie here, and this was caught on the Guggen Baits bandito bug in the natural color. So I just got the hat trick with the Guggen Baits, got it on the crack and craw, got it on the nuke punch, and now on the bandito bug. Done. Not that I was trying or anything, but cool. There you go, buddy. See ya. I'll get the net. I had a bad net job. Thanks, sir. Yep. Awesome. Make sure it's recorded. You guys gave me that bait. <laughs> Is that the same crack and crack? Yeah. It's the one legged one, huh? One legged one. Nice. Working. It's working. Good job. Thank you. Sweet. Another one. We'll take it. Yeah, heck yeah. Better than nothing. Yeah, we need them. Fish is a fish, man. Good job, man. All right, so we hunted the smallmouth everywhere. We got some largemouth, but thankfully, we didn't get any rock bass today or those toothy critters, so that's a good thing. Rich from Owl's Nest Outdoors, I will leave a link to the video description, uh, in the video description, rather, to his channel down below. Make sure you get on that. Rich, thank you so much for today. Appreciate thank you, sir. That. Appreciate it. We'll do it again. Awesome. It was awesome getting out here, and uh, until next time, be safe, be well, and as always, live to fish. Take care, everybody.